All right, you guys. I wanted to get you this video up here. It's kind of a quick little review. Um, one of the most important things when it comes to riding a motorcycle is making sure you're seen. With that being said, somebody at work was asking me about my tail light on my motorcycle and they pointed out the eraser style tail light. They showed how long it was and they were like, man, you got this lay down license plate, which uh, slims up and streamlines the rear end of the bike. But then you left this giant tail light on there, which I've always hated that tail light. It's very long. It extends way too far. It doesn't need to be that large and from the side profile of the motorcycle it does not look good at all so i went online i was doing some research and it came down to uh the moon's mc tail light and then it came down to the eagle rider led tail light after doing a bunch of research i seen that the eagle rider tail light appears to be brighter. A lot of people have left reviews that rear tail light is actually a lot brighter on the Eagle Rider tail light compared to the Moon's MC tail light. They both have integrated turn signals. The Moon's MC, you need to run a harness that's kind of an adapter for the newer soft tails. The Eagle Rider one, you do not need to run any kind of harness. It's specifically designed for the newer style low riders. It has three plugs on the harness, two on each side, uh, and a main one. You can plug your turn signal lights directly into the tail light itself. Or you can do what I chose to do, which is keep the turn signal since I already hard mounted the thrashing bags. There was no need for me to relocate the turn signals or remove the turn signals from the bike because I have the bags on there. I like having three separate lights on the back because nobody can say they did not see it. So I just plugged in the main middle harness directly into the tail light where it should be. And as you're going to see on here, I have some video of what it looks like in the day when you have the running light on and when you actually engage the tail light. And then I actually have some footage where I turn the lights off in the garage and I show you what it looks like at night. This is a huge upgrade over the stock tail light. The amount of light that it puts out is huge. It's a day and night difference and I recommend this to anybody who does a lot of nighttime riding. I do about 30% of my riding at night, so I'm not a huge night rider, but when I am out at night, one of the things I worried about the most was that visibility from behind. A lot of cars will get really close to the back of my bike, and I'm not a slow rider. I'm usually at least 10 miles over the speed limit on the highway. I try to stay away from cars. I try to go a little bit faster than them. And I don't really like cars that close to me when they're following behind me. So having that brighter light in the back was a necessity. Makes me feel a lot safer at night. And I just wanted to get this video up and show you guys the comparison. This is just a plug and play. All you do is plug it right in. It's designed to run with the newer soft tails. So you don't have to worry about uh, a load equalizer or anything like that. You don't have to run any secondary harnesses to have the full function. If you want to delete your turn signals, you just plug in the other two uh, connections to your turn signal connections and you can remove your rear turn signals. I've never ran a Moon's MC tail light, but based off of the reviews, I went with the Eagle Rider tail light. I think it looks day and night better than the stock one. It shaved off, as you guys can see, about two inches, uh, two and a half inches off the length of that tail light. And I went with the smoked 
tail light with just the LEDs from Eagle Rider. They do have one that has a halo inside of the rear tail light that lights up red. I didn't choose to go with that just because I wanted this bike to be very streamlined and I want everything super simplistic. I feel like having that on would just be a little, uh, a little too gaudy for the way that I run my bike. But a lot of people are running those and they like it. I will put a link up here, uh, show you the pricing on it. Completely worth the money. Super easy install. All it is is two screws uh, on the back that hold that light on. So when you remove the original uh, tail light from your Harley, all you do is unscrew them two screws, pull it out, unplug your plug, plug in your new light, put the two screws in. Now, the Eagle Rider light did have a little bit of a fitment issue for me. When I first held it up uh, to the adapter plate itself on the back to that tail light mounting bracket, it didn't appear to fit in there 100% flush. So what I did was I kind of mocked it up. I started screwing in the two screws and it actually pulled the plastic in the place to where it fit perfectly in there. I did run the little foam uh, back plate because from Harley, they have two cutouts on the rear of your fender to allow water to come up into your tail light uh, mounting bracket itself. Really horrible design, but by running that little foam insert in there, I was able to cover up those two spots. So that will limit how much water is going to get in there. Once again, I highly recommend this tail light. If you are in the market, give Eagle Rider a look. They're 100% made in the United States. They warranty all of their stuff. All right, so put your money into an American-made company. Keep your money in American production. And if you are in the market for a new rear tail light, give Eagle Riders a look.